you are joining me for the first time please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by devtech media devtech media updating you devtech media subscribe to devtech media terms we have to make that very clear mm. under the 19 96 constitution there was article 35 article 35 simply said a person who has been elected twice to office shall not be eligible it's in mandatory terms mm. shall not be eligible to stand again that means the two terms must be respected however we must be very clear a president is given by the constitution two terms to stand of five years each but it's not mandatory that he must serve those five years let me go deeper so that the common man now can understand mm -hmm. let's go back to 2006 under the 1996 constitution one levy patrick manawas a state council the late is elected for the second time into office he was initially elected in 2001 now he's elected for the second time in 2006 to hold office as president unfortunately he dies therefore in 2008 the zambian people mm -hmm. are forced to go for a presidential by election in 2008 to elect what a president but which parliament is in session here please follow me the lifespan of a president is tied to the lifespan of parliament he doesn't exist on his own no parliament in 2006 was not dissolved but the constitution said if the president dies Within 90 days, there must be a by-election. That is how come Buezani, Rupia Buezani Banda, became our president in 2008, after the death of Manawasa. Parliament was still there. It was not dissolved. The lifespan of parliament was running. The president therefore had to run. By 2011, His Excellency the President, Rupia Buezani Banda, was compelled to dissolve parliament which was his parliament now it means that for all arguments mm -hmm. the president cannot exist without national assembly when he attends it it becomes parliament his term is tied to that of parliament mm -hmm. this is a very important part which i think we have missed here that is why when he dissolved parliament technically he dissolved himself but the law allows him remain in office during the election period because there should be no vacancy it says he must hand over to the next president elect mm -hmm. 2011 president Sata wins the elections but 2014 mm -hmm. president Sata dies with his parliament in session elected in 2011 parliament of 2011 is not dissolved the presidency has a vacancy because the constitution has got the 90 days within which to run a by-election. So we go for a by-election mm -hmm. for the presidency. Unfortunately for the Patriotic Front at that time, it suffered two problems. They had no presidential candidate. So in 2014, the PF had to go to a convention the constitution of the pf reads the person who is elected at the convention becomes automatically the presidential candidate in the general election to run or in the parliamentary i mean the presidential by election to run his excellency edgar chagualungu was elected as president of pf in 2014 at a convention on the 20th of January mm -hmm. 2015 
he was elected to office for the first time and he found a parliament from 2011 running. His term is tied to this parliament of 2011. This parliament of 2011 was going to be dissolved in 2016. So by law, he was mandated to dissolve that parliament. Just like Rupia Banda, dissolving this parliament in 2016, technically he dissolved himself. It means elections had to be held. 11th of August 2016, His Excellency the President, Edgar Chagualungu, gets elected for the second time with a new parliament, whose life now they begin together. But he has already been elected again in 2015. So he's being elected in 2016 is the second time. Mm -hmm. Let me just go a bit deeper here. Mm -hmm. You cannot argue that the president did not hold office. As I've heard mm. some people <laughs> arguing mm. that the president did not hold office. <laughs> Let's be serious. The constitution is a practical document. It speaks life mm. into a nation. Mm. We must be very clear. In the current constitution, Article 105 clearly states, as it did before, how does a president assume office? One, he gets elected, then he is sworn in mm. by the chief justice mm. or the deputy chief justice, as the case may be, mm. and then he assumes office. Did that happen for Edgar Chagualungu in 2015? Twice. Yes. Did it happen for Edgar Chagualungu in August 2016? Yes. Twice. Mm. So, so mm. he cannot say mm -hmm. he has not been elected twice. He has. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he is caught by one cut Article 106, sub clause 3, mm -hmm. twice elected. Mm -hmm. He cannot run again. Mm -hmm. Let's be very clear. Mm -hmm. Now, people have been saying no, but uh, uh, yeah. the, 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 the constitutional court said, sure. and the con no, no, no. Mm -hmm. The life of the presidency as an institution has always been attached to the life of parliament. That is why when parliament is dissolved, the president cannot stay in office. Parliament has got power to prolong its life, mm -hmm. but in special circumstances. For instance, if there's a war, if there's a war, parliament can prolong its life for 12 months. Mm -hmm. They can remain in office and say, no, we are fighting a war. If we go to elections now, there'll be problems. Let's maintain this. But that's not an election. We're talking about being elected. Once you're elected twice, kwa dala. <laughs> that's it. Mm. You're done. All right. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media.